If you just started playing Hypixel Skyblock, the Bazaar is a very important tool to get. Not only is the Bazaar very useful in the early game, it's also useful in any stage of the game. And for a while, it was pretty easy to unlock the Bazaar, only needing mining, foraging, and farming level 7. But with the addition of the Skyblock leveling update, you now need Skyblock level 7 to have access to the Bazaar. And so today, I've started a brand new Skyblock profile, and I'm going to walk you through how to get Skyblock level 7 on your first day as easy as possible. Now, you don't have to do every single thing that I do inside of this video, but it should be a pretty good guide on what to do when you first start out. And before I do get into the episode, I ask that you consider subscribing to the channel as about 85% of the people who watch my videos aren't actually subscribed. And as I am doing a giant sword giveaway for 15,000 subscribers, I really would appreciate it if you did decide to subscribe. So right away, I'm going to go over here and get some potatoes, sell them to the farm merchant and buy a rookie hoe. You can see the rookie hoe gives you a 50% chance to drop an extra seed with whatever you farm. And currently seeds are actually really profitable when you sell them to the bazaar, so it would be a good idea to hold on to them and sell them later on. So right away, we're going to head over to the wheat farms in the hub and start to farm. You see right away, we get a ton of Skyblock XP for leveling up our collections. And if I head into my Skyblock menu, you can see I already have 27 XP out of 100 to get to Skyblock level one. And so right now, I'm going to keep farming up in the hub until I have about 10,000 coins. And to make coins, I'm going to be selling all of the wheat that I collect. One quick tip I do have is to head over to this fountain and talk to Jamie because he gives you the rogue Sword, which you can right click to give you extra speed, which really helps in the early game. Now that I have about 5,000 coins, I'm going to head over to the mine merchant inside of the hub. I'm going to be buying 18 pieces of coal and 18 gold ingots to make two blocks of gold and two blocks of coal. I can then talk to B inside of the hub and buy a common B pet for 5,000 coins and our blocks that we just made. Whenever I right click this into our pet menu, I get some XP for it, but this also unlocked our new skill of taming. Now, whenever you gain any type of skill XP, you'll automatically gain taming XP. So while you're going to level up skills such as farming, mining, or combat, you're also going to level up taming, which also gives you Skyblock XP. Now that I've almost completely maxed out the wheat collections, I'm going to go into the mountain and start farming some carrots. Now that I've farmed up a little bit more, I have 2,500 coins, and I'm now going to unlock the carpentry skill. I can head past Jamie inside of the hub and go into the builder's house and talk to the wool weaver. I can go to the next page, and I'm going to click into white wool and buy a stack of white wool for about 2,000 coins. I can then head back through the hub and go talk to the builder and give him the 64 white wool. Talking to the carpenter unlocks the carpentry skill. So now whenever you craft any item inside of Skyblock, you'll get skill XP for it. And so I'm going to take all of the seeds that I have so far and craft them together to make enchanted seeds. And you'll notice in the chat that I start getting carpentry XP. I bought a smite sword and I put smite two on it, which got me some Skyblock XP from leveling up my enchanting. And then I'm going to head into the tavern inside of the hub and talk to Maddox. Here I could start a tier one zombie Slayer, which is pretty easy if you have a smite sword. As I killed the zombies, I got some bestiary levels and I leveled up my combat to combat too. And after claiming my rewards from Maddox, you see I got 25 skyblock XP for defeating a level one revenant horror. I can also claim my rewards for getting zombie slayer level one, which gives me an additional 15 skyblock XP. Doing just two more of those tier one bosses gets me to zombie slayer level two. And at level two, I get an additional 25 skyblock XP. So I'm going to go do that right now. Can head back here, claim those and then head into here. Boom, we got a 25 Skyblock XP. Now that I've gotten a good amount of potato, I'm going to head past the carrots because we already did do those in the mountain and I'm going to go into the mushroom desert. There's a bunch of different farming collections I can get here, so let's go do those now. Right away, we're going to do some cactus and then we can head into the oasis and do sugar cane and cocoa beans. And quickly while I'm here, I'm going to go into the waterfall and grab the fairy soul. I'm going to talk about these in a little bit, but you can get a ton of Skyblock XP from getting all of the fairy souls, but I will talk about those later on. And now that we are actually in the mushroom desert. Let's start to do some mining. I can then head over to the lumber merchant and buy some sticks. And then I'm going to head back over to the mine merchant and buy a piece of gold to make a golden shovel. I can head into the library and I'm going to buy some XP bottles again to enchant this with efficiency two. So we're going to head back to the mushroom desert and now we're going to start mining some sand. You'll notice I got my taming level up because any skill XP I get does get me taming XP. But I also haven't done any mining yet. So I'm going to get a ton of mining XP from mining all of this sand. I got my sand 
sand collection up already. I just got about 30 XP from breaking all of this sand. I'm gonna do this for another five minutes or so. I'm going to try to make some money with the sand that I get as well. And we'll see where we're at after a few minutes of mining some sand. All right, it's been just three minutes of mining sand and we're already up to skyblock level four. We got to mining level 11. We upgraded our carpentry skill by making enchanted sand and we leveled up our taming twice. I almost got up to sand collection six and this also got me another 20 skyblock XP. And doing just another 20 seconds of mining or so, I should get up to collection level six, which gets me another four skyblock XP. I'm going to be heading into combat a little bit more. So I'm going to talk over to the adventurous and get the zombie talisman, the skeleton talisman, and both of the village and mine affinity talismans. In total, this only cost me 6,000 coins, but these are going to help a ton by giving us extra damage and a lot of skyblock XP. We can head over to this building inside of the hub and talk to Maxwell. He tells us we need the redstone collection. So let's quickly go into the mines and get some mine collections and unlock the redstone collection as well. Because of the mining XP I got from mining sand, I already have the deep caverns unlocked. And so I can sit here for a little bit and unlock all of these different mining collections. Now that I got some of these collections, I'm going to go through the lapis mines and head to the redstone. Now that we're in the pigment's den, I'm going to start grinding some redstone until we unlock redstone collection two. Now that I've gotten redstone collection two, I got some skyblock XP, but I unlocked the accessory bag. The accessory bag is the place in skyblock where you could put all of your talismans. And after talking to Maxwell, you could see what upgrades you can get. And I can open my accessory bag and put all four talismans inside. We get three skyblock XP for each of them. So we just got 12 skyblock XP for doing that. And I have a bunch of different powers that I can choose from to give me stat boosts. I'm going to go get the grandma wolf pet, which will give me another three skyblock XP for having it inside of my pet menu. And this pet is also really good to have because it gives you passive stat boosts, even if you don't have the pet on. So I can head through the house and talk to the grandma wolf to get the grandma wolf pet. For another collection, I can also head toward the alchemist inside of the hub and farm the nether wart. You can see I already got four skyblock XP, but I should be able to get about 12 to 16 by farming it a couple of times. Also by this pile of nether wart is another fairy soul. So I'm going to start to talk about those now. We can head past the Colosseum into the woods over here to talk to Tia the fairy. Here she gives us a quest to find fairy souls all over the skyblock map. And whenever you find five fairy souls, you can exchange them for 10 skyblock XP and a backpack slot. Backpack slots are an extremely vital part of skyblock and they make the game so much easier. So it's a good idea to do fairy souls at any point of the game. In the description will be a video to find every single fairy soul inside of skyblock. But if you have mods like me, I could type any use souls space on. Now we'll see a waypoint for every single fairy soul in the map, which makes it so much easier to find fairy souls. So I'm going to take the next 10 minutes or so running around the map and finding fairy souls, and I'll come back and show how much XP it gets me. I still have a ton of fairy souls to get, but I've gotten 30 fairy souls. It took me about 10 minutes or so. So I can go here and claim all of these. And you can see in the chat just how much XP I'm getting. There we go. I got skyblock level five off of that access to the garden. And I got 60 XP in total, which is actually pretty good. I haven't done really much of all from it yet. So I'm going to get a promising axe and I'm going to start to do some foraging. Getting all of the different wood collections does take a little bit of time, but it does give you a lot of XP. I should get another four XP for whenever I get to 50 logs, which gets me my oak wood collection. And then I can head to the park and start doing the other types of woods. All right, we got our acacia collection. Now we have one more collection to do. That's jungle. All right, and there we go. We got to foraging level six, got another five skyblock XP there. I upgraded smite three on my sword. So I got another enchanting level, got five XP from that. I farm my way back up to 10,000 coins and I'm going to go back into the auction house and buy a rare enderman pet. I can see one here. I bought it for 5,000 coins. You see, I have 91 out of 100 XP and I put this pet on and it gets me to skyblock level six. And it's also a pretty good pet for combat in the early game. I bought a ton of items such as bows and swords and I'm going to take them over to the museum. Here I can put these different weapons that I bought into the museum in exchange for skyblock XP. However, any item you do give to the curator will soulbound it, meaning that you can't trade that item to other players or sell it on the auction house. And I can head into museum rewards and claim a total of 30 skyblock XP. So now that I'm only about 70 XP away, I'm going to head back to the mushroom desert and start mining some sand again. I'm going to try to level up my mining skill and get some skyblock XP that way. And I'm also going to craft the sand that I get into enchanted sand to level up my carpentry skill. Now that I have auto pickup and I have an axe, I could do these pretty easily. I could just run over and automatically break them. There we go. We got another sugarcane collection unlocked. I think I could also make another talisman with the sugarcane that I have. Yeah, there we go. I can make the speed talisman. I can then put this in my accessory bag. I think I get another three XP from that. 
and there we go we got the cocoa beans collection we got four skyblock xp we are 12 xp away but we are very close to leveling up our taming and farming skills which should give us 15 skyblock xp and then i'm gonna head over to the wheat farms farm my way up to farming 13 and i should hit skyblock level 7 after that all right there we're so close we're only 100 xp away i only have to farm the rest of this and there we go farming level 13 and level 7 giving us access to the bazaar let's go and uh yeah it only took us about two hours of playing and we unlocked the bazaar i don't have a playtime command but if i had to guess it has to be a little bit under two hours which really isn't that bad if you know what you're doing and know what gives the most xp in the early game you can unlock the bazaar in no time thank you all so much for watching this video i really do appreciate it i really hope this was helpful for you in unlocking the bazaar it is kind of annoying that you do need skyblock level seven instead of just those three skills but if you know what you are looking for it really doesn't take that long let me know in the comments what other guides you want to see from me in the future and finally if you enjoyed this video and now want to learn how to flip using the bazaar to make millions of coins in profit then be sure to check out my bazaar flipping guide appearing on screen right now thank you all so much for watching today's video and i will see you all next time goodbye